Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda. So quickly, I want to shout out a lot of people for encouraging me to start this project. First of all, Alex, who started this on her channel just a few days ago. Her name was One Beauty Addict and she changed it to her full name. And guess what I didn't do? Look that up before I started this uh, video. So, you know, that's usually how it goes. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna link her channel down below and you guys know I love her. I started my Shop My Stash Roulette based off of her shop, my stash roulette, that she started because it was just so good and I'm having so much fun doing it and I just love watching her videos. So I was super excited to see her start this and I was planning on starting it and then I was kind of like, well, I have like six projects going on right now and then I just saw so many awesome people do it as well. Jessica posted it on her channel, um, Rebecca posted it on her channel, that's Rebecca from Panty and Stuff, I'm pretty sure it's Panty and Stuff, almost positive. And then also, who else posted their intro? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking this. I think Chic Geek also did it. A few other people, I'm totally blanking, but I'm gonna link um, everyone down below. Everyone I find, everyone I look up when I look up Nine by New Year's, gonna link it in my description so y'all can binge watch this because I love binge watching intros. Like, it's my favorite. I kind of last minute, maybe like a couple hours ago, decided let's do it. Let's just get our products together. I'm not really doing anything that I already have in projects because I have like multiple of like blushes and bronzers and highlights. I would love to be able to put that in here, but right now it's just not a good idea. So I have some stuff that I actually don't have in projects. Like most of the stuff, well, like half of it, I actually don't have in any of my other projects. So that's kind of exciting. Some new items in here and I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna start with what is on or on top of my nails. So this is a silver over like a blue, I'll show you the blue. But on like this finger and my middle finger is like the blue and then what is in the project on is on top. Anyways, the blue quickly is from e.l.f. It's like a blue gray. This is from their new, holiday collection and I just broke and I got it because cute nail polishes and I'm, I mean, I'm pretty good for like $10 for however many, 10 or 12. Anyways, on to the first item. This is the LA Colors Unicorn Sparkle um, Nail Polish. It looks like it would be like opaque, but it's definitely like more of a topper like nail polish. I don't know if you guys can really see that that well. I don't even know if it's focusing, but it's like a very like shimmery light kind of blue shimmer i don't know i really like it it's like very pretty it has like pretty prominent like i would say cobalty blue sparkle in it which i really enjoy like if you kind of move your finger you can definitely see that along with other colors because it's sparkle as well so this specific shade i don't do my nails a lot but i feel like if i started getting in the routine i could probably paint my nails like I'm gonna give myself once a week and this project has like eight weeks in it not a long project so I'm gonna say I want to use it five times before the end of this project so five times for this one I'm really excited it's really pretty oh yeah by the way it's called flurry shine so that's kind of why I chose it because like around New Year's it's gonna be like snowy especially in Colorado not if you're in like a warm place but here it gets snowy around that time so I'm excited to like wear that when it's like snowy out all around the holidays so very excited then I have two of the same product I have two Stila glitters both of these bad boys they dried out and you can revive them with setting spray like they're not I mean obviously they're not exactly the same but I feel like if you let them sit for like a day they definitely get a little more texture to them versus being more liquidy like I just put setting spray in them I'll show you guys they're pretty liquidy and a little chunky but they still work like I'm wearing the darker one which is smoky satin I believe smoldering satin this one and then this one is diamond dust and I've had to actually revive diamond dust before so second time reviving it still works but this specific one diamond dust already has the stopper out so I'm gonna get this done by the first update by next month I want this out not sure if I will um, roll something in. I probably will because like my favorite thing is to roll stuff in. And I probably will roll something in. But I like plan on using this up by next month. Smoldering satin I just want done by the end of the project. The fourth item is a blush. So I'm really into cream blushes recently. And I have, I bought three of these and I shouldn't have. So I need to get some progress on one of them. This one is sparkling rose and it's like a beautiful oh, sparkling rose shade. 
I'm wearing it today under my blush. I have a mark of where it is on the cap with pretty nail polish. This is where it is about. So it's like pretty obviously full. I've used it like two times maybe. My goal is to use it, I think I want to use this 25 times because I can use it under like all, pretty much all the blushes that I am trying to use, like hit a number goal on or hit pan on. Um, it looks really, I think I used this one, I'm pretty sure this one under my party blush from Tarte and it looked super pretty. I really liked it. So I am excited to use it. So 25 times is my goal on this one. Then I have a concealer. This is my oldest concealer in my collection. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I got this in like beginning of 2018 in a boxy charm or not, not a boxy charm in an Ipsy bag. And I canceled Ipsy probably in like February or March. So it's pretty old. I don't know how much is in here. I don't know if I can use it up. I think that's going to be my goal though is to try and use it up if I can. I'm. It's not really good as an under eye concealer for me. It's too heavy. So I don't know if I'm going to like mix it with foundations maybe to lighten foundations, add a little coverage to my BB creams, um, use it as a, I don't love it as an eye primer, but I can definitely use it maybe a few times a week as an eye primer. So I definitely want to try and use it up, multitask it, and get it out of my collection since it's the oldest concealer in it. it needs to get out. Then, primer. Hydrating primer. My skin is dry. I live in Colorado. It doesn't go well together. I want to use up this Essence Primer Spray. It's the hydrating primer spray. It says moisturizing and energizing. I don't know if it's that. It does that. But, it is about right here, so a little more than halfway. I kind of marked it with, I don't know if you, I hope you can see the nail polish, but I marked it. And obviously my goal is to finish it up. I don't know if I can finish it up by the first update. I probably could. Their setting spray for me goes by in like two to three weeks, I feel like. So I don't know how fast I can use this up. I feel like I haven't used it that many times and I'm already right here. So I feel like possibly I could use this up by next update. That would be really nice so I could roll something in because I'm going to do that. So yeah, I want to try and finish this up and hopefully I can by next update. Another kind of gimme product. I guess the last two weren't really gimme. The primer sprays may be a gimme, but this is definitely a gimme product. This is my e.l.f. Just the brow pencil. It's like $2. Um, and I literally have this much left. Not much. I can definitely get it probably used up buy next update that would be really nice just get this out of my collection because i really don't use brow pencils that much i thought i still liked it when i bought it like a few months ago and i don't anymore it used to be my favorite now i have more new favorites so i would like it out last i have a lot of makeup items but this one is a skincare i just kind of wanted to add some skincare since i have a lot of makeup that i'm trying to pan this is from intelligent nutrients i believe my mom got this in a fat bit fun recently and she just gave it to me because she's awesome. And it says they are Leaping Bunny certified. So I'm, I haven't looked that up. I probably should. But that would be nice because I think I really do like this. Um, I haven't used it in a while. Haven't been good about exfoliating recently. I hate admitting that as an esthetician, but I'm not, I'm not exactly practicing at the moment. But um, really want to just use this like three times a week so by next update i don't know how many weeks that is just say like i want to get this 10 to 12 uses by next update give or take you know what i'm saying um depending i think it's like four weeks till next update so three uses a week just say 10 to 12 just so i can really just make myself exfoliate so my skin isn't as like dry or flaky or like just kind of yuck looking you know it just doesn't look as bright as it could so i want to get it brighter and need to use this more Okay, it's after the video, Amanda, because I always do this. I realized I showed eight out of the nine products. So the ninth product, product I want to hit pan on, this shadow is from the All I See Is Magic palette from ColourPop, which came out two holidays ago, holiday 2017. And it is from, or it is called, oh, I'm tired, I'm sorry. It's called Never Never. And you know what? I decided that I literally, this was the one shadow in the palette that I did not think I was going to want to hit pan on. It's called Never Never. It's end of the year. We're going to try and hit pan on something I never thought I could. So that is the ninth and final product, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Probably going to put this at the end right before the, the outro. So yeah, let's get back to the video or back to saying goodbye. Bye.
Okay guys, those are the nine products I want to either hit a goal on or use up by New Year's. Really excited to see what I could possibly use up by the next update and then hopefully roll something on in in that place. Make sure to check my description box for all the other awesome people doing this project, all their intros, binge watch them, and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to just be nice to yourself, say some nice things, do some nice things for yourself, drink some water, and I'll see you soon. Bye!